Mr. Diffigan here with another question in topic 1.1. We're looking at significant figure. We have an object that falls for a time of 0 0.25 seconds. The acceleration of freefall is 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, we calculate the displacement of the object based on these uh, pieces of information. Which one of the following gives the correct number of significant digits for the calculated value for the displacement of the object? Now, this is only topic 1.1 in the course, so you may not know how to calculate the displacement of an object uh, based on the acceleration of the object and how long it's traveled. That's fine for now. I'm sure you're going to learn how to do that later. We don't actually need to know how to do that to get a good guess at the answer to this question, because this question is really about significant figures, not about calculating the displacement. We have to figure out how many significant figures are in each of the quantities we're using, because the significant figures give us an indication of how precise we've measured those quantities. We see in the acceleration there are one, two, three significant figures. The significant figures tell us that we know that the acceleration of freefall is 9.81, and we don't know what comes after that. 9.813? Who knows? We don't. Similarly, on this side, we have one, two significant figures. Leaving zeros never count. Uh, so following the five, it could be anything. So the significant figures give us an indication of the precision of the measurement. We're going to have to combine the time, which is two significant figures of precision, with the acceleration, which is three y digits of significant figures, uh, to get our result. And so we can probably guess that the answer is going to be either 2 or 3. Uh, it's going to be 2. The reason it's 2 is that we want to take the worst case scenario. We don't want to wind up presenting more precision than we might actually have. So our limiting factor is this one, which has fewer significant figures. Uh, so when multiplying, when dividing, as we will have to do to calculate the displacement, you want to wind up with an answer that has the same number of significant figures as your least precise measurement. So the measurement with the fewest significant figures. Two, two.